today our topic is on socialization process it is a topic of seated which is common in both paper 1 and paper 2 on the child development in pedagogy now before moving to the topic i'd like to request every one of you to please subscribe our channel those who are new at here and if you like our video then please click the like button now moving to the topic we need to know what is a socialization mean to us there are two definitions one is given by jake j mackenzie and another given by pb horton and cl hunt now in this definition no don't need to learn about this definition is given by this person or that just you need to know about the basic features like the first one which tells us about that it's a lifelong process in which an individual and becomes a proper member of the society and develops his human characteristic and these are the basic three points which you need to know and from the second definition you need to know about that it is a process in which the groups interact and learn the norms and also develops themselves so these points are the important which you need to know about here and beside this now what we can relate with socialization is that it is a process in which the it inherits and passes on norms customs values and ideologies by providing an individual with skills and habit necessary for participating within on the society now it also helps to develop an human interaction which takes place and this interaction helps them in the process of learning and working togetherness the next we are going to learn about the types of the socialization there are basically two types of socialization one is primary another is secondary the primary is that of the family and the friends now why it isn't primary because it says the groundwork for the future socialization it occurs when a child learns the attribute the values actions and appropriate for as a member of a particular culture this is being influenced this is a place where basically the child is influenced more than anything so it is a primary socialization and the second one is a secondary socialization now here it is where the child learn appropriate behavior as a member of a smaller group within a larger society which is reinforced by a socializing agent of society than that of the immediate family it is usually where it is being associated with the teenagers and adults that they take place outside the home that is to school colleges refers to different type of behaviors from the home children must act according to the rules of the school and when they are there the next we are going to learn about the factors which influence socialization now before moving to the factors in this type the question may come that they will give as friends which is which type of socialization it may be either primary it may be the secondary there are different options you need to click the correct one now the next one is the factors of socialization there are basically three factors of socialization that are social interaction identification language now you need to know about these three factors on which this social interaction is very important it tells us about the interacting socially in the family neighborhood and the school friends classmates and community in an organized psychological process the social interaction there are three times that is imitation of others suggestion by others and another is a sympathy imitation is a place where the copying of someone's behavior which they feel good and in another's own style and develop an unique aspect of personality the next one which is a suggestion by others it denotes by the convey through the language pictures and similar medium to child it influences the child's behavior with other as well as the private and individual behavior the third one is a sympathy it helps to develop when the child develops and emphasize with other and help to initiate the conversation the second one is the identification in an early stage most most of the children's actions are random and natural and unconscious so as the child grows it realizes the nature of things that satisfies its needs so such things became the object of identification the last is the language it means where the cultural transmission and social interaction takes place at first the child utters some random syllables that is with the syllables which they don't have any meaning of it but gradually with the gradual movement of the ages they need to know about the mother language they come to know about the meaning of the words and they, from here they learn about the languages
so these are all the three factors now next we are going to know about the agents of socialization when i'm talking about the agents just relate with the picture on the first slide where there was a child there with, with the four types of agents have on the first slide there will be a family another is a school there is a peer group and a mass media so these are the agents where the socialization develops in the child the first one which is in the family it is a primary socialization process while the next three is the secondary socialization process now the second in the primary that is a family it's developed especially up to the four year age of the child in the in, in the life the child the family provides the children with its first social contact with the world through it and it develops a correct patterns of behavior and it has been internationalized and learned the learning occurs informally and it is being rigid or wrong behavior is approved to, sorry behavior is approved or it can be rejected sometimes approved behaviors get rewards while the rejected behaviors get punishment so this is how the family affects the child the socialization process the next one is the school it is a school where the child reaches after a certain age and widens the socialization cycle here the line learning is the first institution where the learning is being taken as formal learning and the talents are evaluated on the basis of the standard and requirement the school helps the child to adapt to its social order functioning to prepare the child for a stable adult life the child's inputs contain the technical intellectual skills as well as the cultural heritage of the society so that the individual integrate with the society the third one is a peer group the peer means similar age so when a child goes to the school they usually interact with the same age and the children of similar status the child who enter a standard one is on a school that finds itself in a class of children of the same age might become friendly with one of, or only some of them because yet the whole class is their friends but they usually associate with few of the pupils the few people with whom they associate is known as a peer group a child grows up and it starts to choose its own peer group based on its common interest activities similar income level status so this is what we come to see from outside but itself the child itself is affected by the individual in such issues like their appearance they may share the same lifestyle same type of food they have a common fashion interest they have a common interest in social activities and they, their attitude towards life the inheritance of technological development the last one is of the mass media so what is this mass media it helps to transform information in an impersonal manner and the time conducted in one way flow so it also harms its audience and its receivers because by concentrating and stressing should be seen on a real importance as the per norms so the, with this we come to at the end that is the agent of socialization and this is an important part in this socialization the factors influencing socialization and this the types of socialization is much more important than the letter the, the last part is the role play socialization from here you just need to know about the definition of bruno which is being given in 1975 it says that the child in a the, the play is a principal business of childhood so why it has been said because it has been the development is being the development activity and development creativity is developed within a child by its play and education must take into account the modern problems of the children and their understanding of the play process so it is not very important to know about this role of the play in socialization the more important from here is the factors the types and the agents of socialization the questions are mainly concentrated from these three parts so from here it we come to this end of our topic that is socialization on the next day we will be talking about the eight stages of life mentioned by eric erickson this is a very important topic question comes in each year at least one to two question will come from this topic that is in eight stages of eric erickson so in the next slide we are going to talk about these stages now for this we are going to come to the end of our topic 
so if you like our video then please click the like button and if you have not subscribed yet so please subscribe